Hey guys, Miss Briggs here. I just wanted to walk you through the general idea of what you do for your Photoshop challenge and the main tools that you're going to use for this specific challenge, Photoshop challenge number two, selections and transform. So for all of the Photoshop challenges, you may remember this, but if you don't remember it or you weren't here last quarter, you've probably never done a Photoshop challenge. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to download the images for each section. So this one is Maui fish and the background. You would download both of those pictures and open up into Photoshop. So as you can see, I have Maui fish open and the background open. And what we're going to do is we are going to try and extract the word extract is kind of a hard word, but it means take out the fish and put it on the new background. So you're going to put the fish on this background. So we need to learn about three new tools that'll make that a little more possible. <laughs> so the three tools we're going to talk about, the first one is the marquee tool. So that's this one right here. And you can write about these in your Photoshop notes that are due, that were due last time in class. So if you haven't done them, you can work on them right now. I'm going to answer all of the questions right now. So the rectangular marquee tool allows you to select specific area you can draw and you can go to the move tool and you can drag that area onto a new page. So that's your rectangular marquee. It doesn't really work great for the fish because unfortunately we wanna get rid of this blue background and that doesn't really help us. So if we do command D, it allows us to deselect this image. Um, the next one, that's the marquee tool. So you select based on shape. The next one is the fourth tool down and sometimes it's hidden underneath this object selection tool, but this one is the magic wand. So the magic wand selects based on color. So let's click on the background and you can see that it selected pretty much the entire background because the entire background is blue. We can press shift and add to our selection. If you see that little plus sign, that's allowing you to add that little section to it. And um, Right now we have our entire background selected with the magic wand tool. We pressed shift to add to our selection. And we're good to go. If we wanted to add more, we could we could press shift and keep adding, but we don't want to do that. I'm going to press deselect and select the background. I'm holding down shift. We have the entire background selected. We actually want the fish selected, not the background, but in this situation we could press control shift I Control shift I and it'll do it'll select the inverse of what we have selected. So right now we have the background selected, but if we press control shift I, it will automatically switch and have the fish selected now. And we can go to the move tool and move that lovely little fish over to our background. That is super easy. I want to show you another way of doing it in a reverse order. So we have our fish selected. We could press command J, which if you look over on our layers over here, it puts that fish all alone on its own layer and it removes the background. So because we have our fish and then we have our normal picture, we could go and we could grab our entire background here. I'll delete that one, grab our entire background, move that onto this page, make it bigger, Con control T, press enter. And then as we can see over here, we have our background, our fish, and then our regular picture. So we could just drag that fish above the background. Ta-da! And we did the exact same thing without having to move the fish, obviously. So that's one way. We talked about command T and that allows us to resize. And then if you right click while you have command T, so if you do command T right click, it allows you to transform. So you can scale it, you can rotate, you can skew, you can distort, you can do all different things. You're not gonna use that for this, like this is distort. You're not gonna use that for this first challenge with the fish, but you will use it later on towards the end of the challenges. So the, those are the two first main tools. I'm gonna press enter and show you the last tool, which is the quick selection tool right here. So let's go back to when we had just the regular picture. 
So here we have our fish. The quick selection tool is great because it lets you select anything you want. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go on up to the top left corner and click on the plus. You're gonna go ahead and start dragging. You can either click or you can drag. It's up to you. Drag your mouse or click your mouse. And that allowed me, I just clicked and it quickly got the whole fish, which is great. I can press Command plus, uh, Control plus to zoom in and I can go in and add these areas that I missed and I can go over and click the minus up here and if there's an area where I accidentally like went too far so for example if I accidentally did something like that I can click the minus and go back and remove subtract from it and that's the quick selection tool that's pretty versatile and you can use it for pretty much anything. Then you would need to go to the move tool to move that fish onto our background again. So there's lots of different ways of doing it. Um, pretty easy. Perfect. Let's move on.